What's up, everybody? For the Winatachi here, you know what it is, and thank you very much for tuning in to another Pokemon Go updated guide, bringing it back to the overheat issue with cell phones. This first topic, if you live in a cold temperature area on the globe, this is not going to apply to you. If you live in, let's say, Southern California, where in the summer we get a 100 degree plus temperature, this will apply to you. One way to reduce the heat on your phone is to play during specific times of the day. If you are playing at 2 p.m. or 1 or let's just say 12 noon to 4 p.m. right smack dab midday where the sun is freaking bright as and the temperature is hot to the max, that is going to increase the temperature of your phone internally and externally. So I suggest you either play early in the morning or at nighttime when the temperatures uh, fall down to a little bit of a colder temperature. That's one way to help. Another way to help is going in game. I don't know how my magic cup just found a candy because I'm not even moving. Go in game, go to your settings, and turn on battery saver mode. This is not going to change too much, but it will definitely help in the short run. Because, or in the long run, I should say, because it depends on how long you're going to be playing Pokemon Go for. But battery saver mode does reduce the stress of the background stress onto your cell phone. So battery saver mode will help a little bit when it comes to overheating issues. Next up, all cell phones have this or a way to do this, but I'm playing on an LG. So all I have to do is scroll from the top of my cell phone and drag it down. You'll notice that I have Bluetooth, Rotation, Location, Wi-Fi, and Capture on the top. If you can turn off your Wi-Fi and turn off your Bluetooth on your cell phone, uh, let's say you're playing outside, you don't really need Wi-Fi where you're at, you're just going to use your cell phone data, and you don't have anything connected to Bluetooth, go ahead and turn off both of those. If you turn off both of those, it'll drastically improve the overheating issue with your cell phone. Another example is the brightness to your screen. Now, right below that, as you guys can see, mine's at 0%. It's at nighttime right now, so I don't really need brightness on my screen at all. So if I turn it off, this is probably the main way to reduce heating issues on your cell phone is this right here. If I drag it all the way to the right, my brightness may increase the temperature of my cell phone. And it just said that for me as well. It gave me an alert pop-up. I'm going to go ahead and reduce that from 100% to 0%. Now, there's sometimes during the day where it's really bright and 0% you can't see anything on your phone. Yes, you can go ahead and drop it at like 45%, 50%. Anything lower than a max w value will help you drastically reduce the phone. And that is probably the best tip I can give you is the brightness settings on your screen because that helps, helps me a lot. Last but not least, one thing I can say is if you have any old pictures or videos or any old apps that you just no longer need on the phone, go ahead and remove them because they're just sitting there and wasting background uh, CP on your cell phone. So you just want to get rid of those anyways. So old apps that you don't use at all, just go ahead and delete them and uninstall them from your phone. Old pictures or old videos, if you want them, go ahead and transfer them to your PC or go ahead and transfer them to a, a card. But if you can remove them from your cell phone, that would be great. That will also help you reduce the overheating issue. But I just want to say, got any questions, post down below. Thank you very much for tuning in and stay tuned.